It's called an SAC Sports Activity Coupe, but it has four doors. It will be built in the United States and it is the smaller version of the BMW X6. I'm talking about the new BMW X4. My name is Sarah Sauer. You're watching another episode of FLD Tours. Typical for Ford to go ahead and escape here. Torque for days on this thing. And this car's turbo. There it is. Just kicked in. It goes. I'm off. I see you. Well, it seems that the product planners at BMW think that no matter how many variations of a car they add, the customers will most likely line up and purchase them. So this car right here is to be considered the baby version of the BMW X6 and it is based on the BMW X3, which is technically all the same. So how do you recognize the new BMW X4? Well, first of all, you have those characteristic lines here in the front apron. Then there are those large air intakes. By the way, our car is equipped with the M Sport package, so the front looks even more aggressive. You have the typical BMW 3 eyed face, meaning you got twin headlights and the fog lamps. Regarding the sides of the car, you have this typical BMW line here and it is the first time that BMW split this line into two lines. It goes until the back doors, here it ends and then there's the second line starting here going to the end. And BMW did it in order to emphasize the big butt of the new BMW X4. The new BMW X4 is lower and longer than the BMW X3, meaning 14 millimeters longer and 36 millimeters lower. And we're talking about a sports activity coupe. So where is the coupe? You see it when you look at the roof line. It has this coupe design and it reaches its highest point above the driver's seat and then goes down to the end. Like I just said, BMW wants to emphasize the big butt of the new BMW X4 and uh, here it is, you can see it's really huge and I like it. And kick ass gets a really new meaning. I will show you. Ah, here it is. Yeah, you just do this kick and then the trunk opens if you have the keys in your pocket, if you have them with you. And this is called Smart Opener. This is an option you have to extra pay for. And the trunk closes when you kick again, but I won't do it now. I just wanted to say some words about the trunk. If you take this little thing here away, you can flip the seats. 40, 20, 40, um, which means it's very flexible. Um, you can carry four persons and still, um, for example, put in your ski equipment in here. And it is very easily done. I will show you. I will just flip it. Oops. Let's check the back of the new BMW X4. Um, well, from this car, I would expect that not only children have enough space in the back, but also grown-up people and um, also tall grown-up people. And here I am, I'm six feet tall. And well, I have to say that I'm sitting here pretty comfortable, meaning I have got enough leg room, I got enough head room. The seats in here are very comfortable. Um, here there's this armrest and uh, there's space, there, there are cup holders and I think it's proven the BMW X4 provides enough space for children, for grown-up people and for a tall chick as I am. 
The interior is pretty close to what current BMW X models look like. You have BMW's iDrive controller and central display, BMW connected drive, navigation, BMW apps and all that good stuff wrapped in a sporty cabin. I hope that I was able to give you a short impression about the exterior and the interior of the new BMW X4 and now I'm gonna hit the road so that I can talk about the driving experience. In the United States, the BMW X4 comes in two different models with both mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The X4 xDrive 28i, which is powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo, making 245 horsepower, allowing for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.4 seconds. And the X4 xDrive 35i is powered by a 3-liter inline 6, making 306 horsepower, allowing for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time in 5.5 seconds. It has a top speed, by the way, of 153 miles per hour. It's an SIC, there's the word sport in it, so you expect the BMW X4 to be sporty. Look-wise, it is absolutely sporty. But when it comes to driving, I somehow miss a sporty feeling. This is due to the fact that you sit so high and that you can feel the weight of the car. I mean, it weighs nearly two tons. Also, the sound of the 3 liter engine does not precisely sound like a better sport vehicle, if you ask me. <laughs> Nevertheless, the numbers regarding acceleration, they are impressive. I mean, 5.5 seconds from 0 to 62 miles per hour, but somehow those numbers do not match to my feeling on the driver's seat. Regardless of the fact that I don't feel this better sportiness, the engineers of BMW did an awesome job with the setup of the driving modes. Because next to the shift stick, you have a switch called Fahrerlebnisschalter, which is German of course, and I would translate it into driving experience button or driving experience switch, meaning you can easily switch from Eco Drive to Comfort Mode to Sport Mode and even to Sport Plus Mode. Those modes affect the driving characteristics of the X4 regarding steering, suspension, automatic transmission and performance of the engine. And I can assure you, this button was not just made up by the marketing department, but really sticks to its promise, driving experience. There are two more things I'd like to tell you. First of all, I'd like to recommend the 360 degrees camera, which makes parking, no matter where you are, very easy. And the last thing I would like to tell you is that the shifting is somehow connected to the navigation system, meaning the navigation system reads the tempo limits in the streets and the shifting system reacts to it. So the shifting system knows you know, when to shift down or when to shift up. You can't really feel it, but BMW people told us that this is a very new thing and I think this is a pretty good idea. So the big question is, is it worth buying it? Well, in comparison, the BMW X3 just starts at $38,400. So if styling of a sloping roof line like this car has got uh, isn't that big deal for you, you can just save your money and get an X3. Or if you like the concept of mixing the SUV style with coupe style, then, you know, just go and get the X4. Well, my name is Sarah Sauer. You were watching another episode of Apple Detours. See you next time. Bye. Tschüss. Anyway, the uh, meaning, uh, no, anyway, nein. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh. Ta-da. <laughs> I mean, it's at conscious. <laughs> Tuning in.
the fast lane daily. News for the always on the go folks. Merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes. You can view how you choose to fastlanedaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.